We have a lot of fun on this show. <laughs> this this may look like a squirt gun, but it's actually very high tech. It, yeah, it's a squirt gun. Um, it's what. We, <laughs> It's just a lot of fun. That's all the entire cast and crew and everyone. It's just we're all a bunch of pranksters. And, you know, it's it's just a fun environment to be at, and it makes work not seem like work. The bar is higher now. I mean, we it's it's going to be a movie once a week. We're going, you know, we're going for the sky's the limit. It's it's going to be amazing. It really is. It's. Uh, I mean, and, I mean, another big difference is it's. It's six months later, sort of, in, in real time. You know, it's we've been doing it for a while. We're a lot smoother. There's more. You know, we're not as rough around the edges on the missions, and uh, um, it, that'll show in the series. There are stunt drivers. Corey Eubanks is my stunt driver. He is. Uh, he does a lot of the scarier stuff, and mostly um, because they don't want me to die. But the second thing is, um, you know, uh, we have so much going on so many scenes that we have actually two units now that just film simultaneously where it's we have a second unit that does all of the stunts and the car driving and stuff like that and he puts a wig on that looks like my hair which looks ridiculous and uh, he actually is some of the girls too on the show which is really funny when he gets the little pink thing on at the long yeah it's great Uh, we threw a car off a ravine. <laughs> We've done, actually, every episode has some amazing, spectacular feat that we've accomplished. That when I read the script and we flip through it, um, it's, uh, I, I always wonder how they're going to pull this off. And, you know, we always have some car blowing up, some missile hitting something, but um, one of them that I was in was we got, uh, I got buried in the middle of the desert, up to my neck and left there for dead and then the bad guys show up with uh, uh, race cars and actually drive around my head <laughs> which that was a little interesting to say the least but that one was a, that was pretty it looks great when we're done so that was pretty cool yeah no I did yeah in the sand I'm, that's all you see is like from here up I had a tan line that went around my neck <laughs> right here and uh, then I proceed to you know Kit saves me and then then I have this giant stunt where I beat up two people while I'm chained to the back of the truck. And it's, yeah. That was just my Monday. <laughs> he does. We actually have a voice double. Right here he is. <laughs> hey. Sean Bridell. <laughs> Who are we talking to? Yeah, uh, Buddy TV. Yes, he is our voice double. He actually... Um, feeds me the lines in Val Kilmer's cadence and stuff like that, which is great because I don't think I could do this without him. Um, especially since our car is an artificial intelligence and will continue to evolve, so that way uh, you know, John adds the uh, little snippets of emotion or whatever, which help as an actor. The first day there were problems, but now I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> the problem lies in when they give me a real actor because I don't know what to do with them. There is, we have a lot, uh, a lot more characters than we did in the movie. Um, Sarah, uh, it was between Mike and Sarah, um, the relationship gets a little deeper as far as you learn more about the past, which in turn heightens their relationship. You learn more about what happened before the two hour. Um, and also the you know the relationship with uh, Dr. Raymond and all the new characters um, Zoe, Torres, and uh, Revi. You since we've been doing this and working as a team for you know whatever six months whatever it is, um, it, our, our relationships are a lot stronger and we know each other now. So we kind of know each other about how to push each other's buttons and you know wherein lies the humor and all of that. So it's it's uh, it's just more well-rounded. With all the characters. The only thing that took some transition period was when I'm driving the car because now we have all the new gadgets like Kit um, that we've downloaded to Kit that uh, like half, three fourths of the screen is a heads up display. So now I don't just talk to the dashboard, I actually move things like a conductor in the car and they have to match whatever I do and talk to that. And someone pops up on a video screen and starts talking to me from here. And, 
it's a whole mess, and it looks ridiculous when you film it. But in the end, it looks great because they add all the special effects. In. But um, that's that's the only, I mean, real. I feel like the real transition that we had to do, and that took a day. But everybody, we we get along famously, so it's great. Well, the big thing that kid can do that he couldn't do in the two hours, he has turbo boost. That's a little fun little upgrade that we've added. Um, the other upgrade. Uh, because he is a computer, we can always upgrade him all the time. He can transform, and not like he did in the two hour where he sort of morphed into something else. He full on transforms uh, into different cars, or for camouflage, or for whatever purpose he needs, you know, um, for actually whatever the purpose the mission calls for. And um, that's one, and then there's a bunch of fun other ones that I don't want to give away.